If you were stitching along and all of a sudden you had a power outage and now you need to resume with where your stitching ended, okay, what would you do? Go into Zone Manager and pick the zone that you were stitching with, okay, and then you'll need to place your zone. So you may or may not hit it just right, but do the best that you can. So you will need to place your zone and then, and then um, you're going to move your needle near where the stitching ended, okay? And then you're going to say repair pattern and you're going to say closest stitch, okay? And so at this point, you may need to nudge it. Um, you may need to nudge down, oh, sorry. The, the nudge is very incremental. So you may need to nudge it a little bit um, and, and you have left and right and, and top and bottom. And then you can hit trace back and hit stop. And then you might want to nudge a little more, trace forward. And it's nice to go across a point because if your needle can stay directly over that point, then, then you're probably pretty close. And so once you once you've got a point or or some very defining element of your design and you and you've used your your trace back and forth enough that you know you're pretty well lined up then you can use the um, minus one stitch and then the plus one stitch if you start doing some nudging anymore I recommend going back to a point or another part because when you nudge right at where your stitching ended, you may or may not be lined up like you want to be. So, so I, I, I use the trace back and trace forward after I've done the nudges just to make sure I'm good. And only then do I do the minus and plus one so that I'm exactly where I need to be to pull my bobbin and resume stitching. Hope you found that helpful.